Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Um, you know, um, you, Megan the Stallion and uh, Nikki has had a, you know, you see what's going on. Yeah, it's got ugly, right? It, it got, got ugly it got real quick, man. Quick. I'm trying to figure out what happened. That's what, that, that's I what I think we all. I don't even know what happened. Yeah, I think that's what we all trying to figure out, the real root of it, because it's like, it don't just boom. We don't no. go from zero to a hundred like that. No. I mean, the line on your dead mama versus what really that yeah, you yeah. know it's all gloves off. Yeah, it, oh, it's for sure all gloves off. Line on your dead mama? Nails breaking. Oh, man. It's, it's an ugly fight. Spitting because I can't get to you fight. They fighting like that. Do you do you really think that, that you know, after the all the smoke clear, will they be able to sit down again together? Nah, never. Mm -hmm. Never. Never. It's a strip club fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's never. That's for life. You heard me. I don't know if you watched Boss Talk when I went on and I see it, and I've been saying this lately. I'm a big Nicki fan, but when mm -hmm. you say, uh, "Is your Pimp C or is your Bun B?" I had issues with. Yeah, that, that hurt me too because I'm a Did country. I'm a country Texas rapping nigga too. It, it, it hurt me. I th but everybody, I had, I don't want you know, like, it, was, like, it was some people. I got this girl on reality Pimp. TV, I love Bun. and uh, basically she was, he didn't mean it like that. He How do you mean that? She didn't mean it like that. Wait a minute. What context can you put that in? It like I don't that that, that kind of hurt me too. I, I was lie. and I love Nikki and I was like, man, this done messed my head up because <laughs> I never would have thought she'd have said, "Is your man B or is your Pimp C?" I'm like, what the hell does that got to do with anything? And it almost is like you tell you saying talking down on the way we talk. Yeah, that's basically what I heard too. You felt that way too. I feel like every Texas artist. I don't artist, feel like I'm crazy I now. I feel like any. But look, I feel like any and every Texas artist has um a bit of we can all agree when Megan came out, she sound like a Texas female, bro. Like she sound like Texas. Like you can hear it. So to say like we all sound like that in our artistry in, in some way, shape, or form. So I'm like, that hurt me. That shit hurt, didn't it? I'm like, damn it. Damn. Like what happened? Is the South ain't good enough again? It never was. Ah, we never was. Like it. That, that, and you know that's the way it be. It, it, the truth come out mm -hmm. when a person get mad. Get mad, yeah, for sure. And they if, all get if mad. If a person get mad at you, they'll tell your ass. I tell you about yourself. You, oh, you, oh, you what? I didn't like that anyway. And I'm gonna go mm -hmm. in on you. You know the what I mean? The South embraced Nikki though. We did. Yeah, we, we did. If I'm not mistaken. Her um, her genetics come from um. She was over there with Gucci and, and Miss Deb. She was with Miss Deb. She was with she Gucci. Went to, and then to she went to Burger Man. And it, that's the side. And 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 you know, Lil Wayne gave it to her. Yeah, for sure. So I think I think that's the part, and yeah, Beyonce and I don't, from the south, yeah, Beyonce from the south for sure, for sure. For sure. But the thing is, we just gotta we gotta do better, man, because niggas has just been out of niggas just we were out of nigga in a minute. You see what Cat <laughs> Williams did? We were out a nigga in a minute. Impulsive, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, we're out a nigga. Yeah, quick. What did you think about the the Cat Williams? I ain't got to talk to you since then. What did I think about the Cat Williams thing? When Man, he I, went in, it's fifty. How many more is it? Look at fifty four million now. It's at fifty four. Mm -hmm. Oh god, yeah, it was there last week. Oh, it was at fifty four. Yeah. So it probably gonna work. Cat went nuts, boy. Cat, I don't. Hey, yeah, look, Cat went nuts. Hey, hey, that's his true. We don't. I don't know. I don't know the other side. It's I don't coming know. Out. So all hey, I can listen. do is take his word for it. It's the same way when he was up there saying he was like, "You had people come up here. Let me address it." My side of the story. I'm gonna tell you like this. Every, he said everybody that came out never said he didn't lie. Cedric For sure. The they, they, they just said something he was crazy, something like they never said he lied. For no, sure. he said you had Cedric the Entertainer sitting over here like a walrus. But you still got, <laughs> look, and, and that's what's funny, bro. You still gotta realize <laughs> this, this is, is a uh, this is not just a comedian. This is one of our top mm -hmm. tier. He just having one of them real moments. He's he gonna still be funny in the moment. But I'm like, I don't know, bro. I can't. I don't yes, know. I it was very entertaining. Nah, I, I tell you that. I it watched the whole thing. It I ain't cut it off. For me. Huh? It was too long for I me. I watched that whole thing. I watched the whole thing, bro. I had to. I called my boy Faison. As soon as I won't cut it off, he'll say something that'd be like, hey, well, I read 3,000 books. And I was like, bro, huh? I said, damn, that nigga done talked about Faison. Let me call. I called my boy Faison. I said, some bullshit, man. Faison, do you hear what's going on? He I wonder say, why Faison hate uh, Country Wayne so uh, much. No. Country Wayne just said something. He don't hate him. He don't understand him. I, 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 I talked to both of them, but Faison, my guy, he like for he really sure. dislikes him. I don't think so. It's like a, it's like a big, the big brother thing. Like, 
comedians. Not just him. What is, what, is just the, what, is what is the big brother thing? It's, it's Meaning, understanding, bro. You got to understand if you've been doing something. You, you got to say, I, I have a big brother. Okay, it's understanding. For, okay, no. For, I wouldn't have been the same big brother go, as my big brother. Here we go. 14 to 55. That's how long he's been doing comedy. Okay. Big Worm. Y'all know him as Big Worm. I, I've been to his show. I watch his show. He really does stand up comedy. It's not a game. It, they went to all of those different back room, back wood comedy shows. Yeah, he was up there with Bernie Mac. He been up there with uh, Robin Harris. Uh, he been up there. This is a nigga that been doing this the whole time. Yeah. Then you got the new wave to come in. Mm -hmm. Quite naturally, he don't understand. Okay. These niggas doing this. Is he funny? Is he the funny we was? Is he Jamie Foxx funny? That's how he's looking at it. Okay, but at the end of the day, Country Wayne has a whole network of way he's doing it with a cell phone. Yeah. This shit ain't never been done before. But same see, thing I told Curry when, when Curry was here a day before you a couple of days ago. You niggas is doing something that ain't never been done before. That's the part we keep trying to figure out. See, my angle of it is though. Why why am I comparing this guy's funny? Why does his funny matter to me? Anyway. Like that's why okay, take this okay, I'm getting it. Like you said from a bit from a big brother perspective. That's like me having some young artists come up in the city and just cause they don't make the type of music I understand, I can't deny their fan base and, and what they doing, the effect that's going on. Like I don't have to agree with it. Like why do I have to agree with it? Why what is my opinion mean? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Be like they it don't matter. I think the thing is they they reach out to each other. It was some behind the scenes stuff see, happening. That's, that's, that's that what you come on out, and that's what people not talking about. Because when I see the hate, it, it's like nah, yeah. we need to get to the root of it. Because at we least you smart root. enough to know that though. Yeah, yeah like, we gotta get to the root. And, and, they ain't gonna see it because they, they they egos, bro. And I can, but I can respect them even saying, "Hey man, it's deeper than that." I don't like that thing. Cool. I don't cool. think it's he like him. Face on, not like that. He just talk. He say what he feel, and he don't care. What, what that, it ain't listen, like he got a caring bone in his body about what he say. You know what I'm saying? Next time like you like got me. phase on on here, you got to get to the root of the tutor. I I would rather have them both on here to do it. That would be hard. You know what I'm saying? But Country Wayne, we need you on Boss Talk. Well, like, come I talked to him. Me and him talk. He called me probably two weeks ago. We need you on Boss Talk. But the thing is, it's just it. It seems like it, it done gone too far. But I would love to see them, you know, uh, do something together. That's what I thought when it first jumped off. I don't yeah. think it's never too far. They can do a skit and meet each other. I don't think he'll ever do a skit. Man, he, he'll he do a movie around. with him. That's where he at with it. Me personally, if I was them and I was in their corner, film. I would make a skit about how basically what both of their angles have been. I don't think you funny and I don't think I think you bitter or this, that, and other. I would make that skit work like it would mess. Mm -hmm. And it would work, bro. Like that's what I, that's what I would do, though. I think they just. I think one thing about it, you know, they both dope, but neither one of them will ever hurt each other. They both got two different type of well, crowds. That, that, yeah, that, that matters. They got two yeah. different type of crowds yeah. out there when they go to their show. I went just left Phase on show the other night, and it was packed to the core. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, I don't think neither one of them are hurting or will ever hurt each other, yeah. far as the way they cause of the reputation. Or uh, running to each other. Yeah, you know. I don't know. They're probably running to each other, but you got you got right now. Kevin Hart uh, just did a movie with uh, Faison. They still partners, bro. Yeah. These people partners, man. Uh, it was Kevin Hart that movie they did. It was just a little, just a razzle dazzle. We heard mm -hmm. Kevin Hart. I think it was uh, uh, Bellamy and uh, Wesley Snipes. Okay. It was it was like four of them, four or five of them that was. No, these niggas were trying to act like they were strippers, they old ass niggas. I I, I seen the movie, Cause they was, look, but then they had a young nigga with him that was he was killing the game. He, when I seen when I seen Country Rain addressing Phase on, I was like, it's only one place he could have got his. Oh, he watched Boss Talk. He watched Boss. We met him. We went to Houston and talked to him. Next I talked time, to him. And next time you on there say, man, I was watching Boss Talk. They did. You no, know I'm saying. When he was on Chef's Rock, he said, I was watching Boston. They're not going to say that. They're not going to say that. They're not going to say that. But they know it come from him. They, everybody, even Vlad, all of them, they all, uh, everybody they knows. Start they start like, drizzling. They're not going to not gonna say it, bro, at the end of the day. But I don't, it don't make me or break me because at the end of the day, I know over here we got that good dough. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, good dough. <laughs> they they, they repackaging it and <laughs> And reselling it. Yeah, yeah, we got the good dope over here. So at the end of the day, whether they want to admit it or not, 
Uh, boss talk is uh, we you know I heard on, I heard you on the podcast. You had said that um, you did like nigga say the podcast. Say what podcast? Oh, name. They won't say it. Yeah, that, and that's a part of a lot of people's problem. Do I say I say a lot of niggas' names, bro? Yes, you know what I'm saying. I've always done that. Because guess what, yo, yo, what's for you is for you, bro. Like you ain't gonna get it, step on nobody else's toes for what. But I think that's a, that's the boxing out movement too. That's the trying to keep people boxed out, that's you know. Right. And but at the end of the day, I don't think again, Texas is so big. The South is so big. Even even though Chicago love me, Houston they got me. Atlanta, I'll be down there in another month and a half or so. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, the South is so big, bro. It don't. I'm going to L.A. I'll be in L.A. next week. So, but but the South they can hold it down, bro. And then you got some niggas really little runny that these niggas will tell me out in passing. I love boss talk, man. But I only watch when you got Dallas. They love Dallas. Like you on here, they, mm -hmm. they only watch for the local. They don't want nothing else. That's why you plant the seed, though. But I get it, but I'm just saying, there's a pe a person out there who only watch this to see y'all. That's hard. And he don't care nothing but about nothing else. But, but I feel like you service the city, like, heavily. Trying to. I Not even I, trying. Like, it's going on. No, it's going on. It's in here. Yeah. It's in here telling well, yeah. their stories. To the one. Yeah, coming back, like well, I gotta, I gotta come back and say some, some more things because we shit done wildfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't it's think, I don't think it's nobody right. has done that like me either. That's nah, what I'm yeah, big up. I done you, had some you crazy stuff. Get the niggas here. that's in the city that means something to the city that done something for the city in any way, shape, or form. Like they coming through this thing. Man, Twisted Blacks was I love that interview. Shout out man. Twisted Black. That was a good interview, man. Like it's stuff like that, man. We just, we just gotta keep it going. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.